Okay, YouTubers, so I have a 2012 Chevy Malibu here. This is going to be the same thing for any Chevy or GM out there, such as Pontiac, and, you know, many of their vehicles have the 2.4 liter Ecotec, uh, and this is going to be the same issue for all of them, same replacement, same fix. Uh, so I have a check engine light. I have my scan tool here, or auto detect. If you guys haven't seen the video on this, I just did a review unboxing on this scan tool uh, from launch. It is the 123 Echo. It's the touchscreen new version of this lineup, so go ahead and check it out if you're interested. So it auto detected the vehicle. Okay, and here. It's gathering a health report of the transmission. So, I mean, all the all the computers and everything in the vehicle, and it gives you a basic diagnosis report on the vehicle. It gives you your information, VIN, all that stuff that you can save, uh, send to your email or anything like that, and it shows you, you know, all the different uh, control modules, and it shows here the ECM engine control module has two abnormal. DTCs, and that is P0013 and 14, which is the exhaust, uh, exhaust camshaft position actuator solenoid. So this is very common for the 2.4 liter Ecotex after about 100,000 miles. And it's a pretty simple fix, so it, it'll be a pretty good video if you have the same issue. Very uh, simple fix. But first, before we just go replacing the solenoid, we are going to, I'm going to check to make sure that I'm actually getting power down to the solenoid from the computer to the solenoid. Make sure that I'm getting voltage. And then uh, if we are, then there's no break in the uh, wires or anything like that. Then we'll go ahead and replace the solenoid. But that's it. Okay, YouTubers. So what you're going to need is a ratchet and 8 millimeter or flathead screwdriver to loosen the clamp on your filter. I disconnected my math, and then inside of here, you're just gonna run your ratchet and extension. There's another fastener, just like this one, clamp. Right inside here, you just run it from the side, like this. Loosen that one. It's basically just a coupler from this plastic shroud to the hose to a coupler that goes to your engine. And then once you've removed those two, Remove it, remove your uh, oil cap. You're gonna have this hose right here, so be careful of that. And there's just a couple rubber bushing mounts back here that you're gonna push up on. And then here you can go ahead and actually take a pair of pliers. Remove that. And there's the top. Comes off super easy. And then what we have here are your two camshaft solenoids for your variable valve timing. This is going to be the intake, this is going to be the exhaust. So while I have this all off, I'm going to clean it and look over everything, but we're going to primarily focus on this. This is held in by a 10 millimeter bolt, which will be supplied. I got mine from Napa. And these will range, you can buy them on Amazon. If you can wait a couple days, buy it on Amazon. It's about half the price. You can get, get them anywhere from $20 to $50. And uh, it will supply you with a, a new fastener and a solenoid. You can get them both in a kit as well, intake and exhaust. Other than that, you'll just need your 10 millimeter. Keep in mind, if you've ran your car before, there's probably going to be oil on this, so just be careful. You might want to grab a rag. Other than that, it might take some pressure to get this thing out. Right. Be careful, you might have some uh, debris and stuff on top of your valve cover. Don't let it fall in the hole. Okay, so in order to get this connector off, you're going to come in from the bottom side of the screwdriver and push up on the tab. 
and we basically have the exact same thing here in the packaging. We'll go ahead, open it up. Boom. There it is. Uh, there's the part number if you get it from Napa for the exhaust side. And you're literally just going to drop it in place. And this is all aluminum, so you don't need to go torquing away real hard or anything like that. It's nice and snug. Alright, there it is. Now it's as simple as putting it back in. Put the connector end back on it. Bring you in a little bit closer so you can kind of see. Exhaust side, intake side. There's our old solenoid. And that's basically it. Really simple job. Uh, other than that, when you're putting it back together, you want to make sure that you get it on the coupling over this uh, throttle body. And then you can set it on your post back here. The rubber grommets kind of sit over these little guys right here. Like you can see here, one of them's already on there still. But other than that, that's it. Make sure to hook up your line and your intake again, and you're good to go. Now keep in mind that the check engine light may shut off immediately, or it may take a drive cycle. So don't be afraid if it's still on, it should shut off after a while. Uh, other than that, you can go in and clear it if you have the scan tool. And, uh, you know, wait a while, and hopefully it doesn't come back on. But other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of what you guys think. And I really hope you guys found this helpful. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.